Welcome to Sri and Kira Live. As our world spins seemingly out of control, we are all experiencing time speeding up, chaos shifting to a new level, and a yearning to know the greater mysteries of the universe. What does it all mean? Visionary spiritual teachers and best-selling authors Sri Ram Ka and Kira Ra explore these mysteries, offer live soul readings, and invite you to open up your mind, body, and spirit to the paradigms that are shifting. Bringing you fresh perspectives and timeless wisdom, here are Sri and Kira. Tosa Blue Mountain, <laughs> and the family is expanding. Isn't it though? I mean, do we have the most gorgeous background today? Look yes. at this. We yeah. are live from our living room, and uh, you know what's right behind us is our sacred altar, as you can tell by these four beautiful beings that are here with us right now in perfect balance, as the number four always offers to us. And so we're just going to really, as Shri and I say hello, Today is about you. It's about claiming you. It's about saying yes. And so thank you for saying yes to being you and for being here right now. And along with Sri and I, we're going to ask each one of our guests to just uh, say their name and maybe just a moment about why they're here at Tosa. Does that Yeah, work? sounds right. great. Greet, greet your family, exactly. the bigger family. Say so hi. we're going to start right here. All right. I'm Margarete from, from Germany, and I'm here to find out who I am. Woohoo! All right. Well, namaste and welcome, aren't we all? I think we're all here to find out who we are, are we not? All right. Here we are, right in the middle. Sudel, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Woohoo! New Mexico! Uh, USA. Um, I've been here in Tree and Kira for some years. Met them in New Mexico in one of the classes. I feel very uh, connected in the, the lessons, the beauty, the, the incredible importance of what they're teaching. And really love and appreciate both of them a lot. I traveled far, and it's worth every second of my flight. Oh, I feel honored. Oh, as do we, honey. Thank you. And you know, today on this show, we're showing a film celebrating 18 years, and there's a lot of New Mexico in there. Oh. So I love that you're here holding that for all of us today. So how exciting that someone yes. who was there is here right now. Look at those chances. Yeah. All right, that's pretty amazing. Hey, and right here next to me, we all know who this amazing being is. Go ahead, amazing being. I'm Masha Sigurdsson. I'm happy to be here today. I'm truly, truly honored to share with sacred space with that lovely group and this my gurus Sri and Kira. Oh. Thank you so much. Cool. Well, thank you, my love. And Masha, thank you so much. You know, Masha has come with so much light and presence. And remember, she is the host of Messages of Light right over there at onenesstalkradio.com. If you have not tuned into her show, why not? I really encourage you to do that. And so, Masha, we're so glad that you're here holding that energy. And right here, our beloved one. Here we Hello. are. Hi. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm from New York. Uh, last year on my birthday, I bought two dragonfly brush and shortly after I saw you guys pop up on my YouTube feed with the <laughs> dragonfly right, and I said, yeah. love it. I love are they it. my people <laughs> and then I started watching your show and the land called mm. like that's why I'm here <sighs> wow you know I lost my breath when you said that mm. the land called you so clearly it was like a <gasps> Yeah, like, as you said I felt that. it in all of my just, all of my wow. I was like, I wow. have to be there. The wow. land is calling. And look what's happened since you've known that and what you're here for. Mm -hmm. Because we are all here for it, are we not? And so we're going to invite you guys to go relax into yeah. your seats. They've been standing here in these wonderful positions, but it's like, go get comfy, okay. right? Oh, my it's borrowed that. I love that. Love, love, love. Oh, that's beautiful, sweetheart. <laughs> no, but I want to show everybody first, though. Look, There's a nice is that so line. fabulous? Yeah. That just came off of Sadell. So this has been Sadell's offering into our sacred container in this moment. Thank you. I love it. And thank you for sharing. And so, beloved ones, I know that we have a lot of you here from all over the world calling in over at onenesstalkradio.com. Hi, we love you guys. And, of course, remember that Shri and I are going to start taking your questions as soon as you get into the queue. So this whole first half of the show, you get to let us know what, what have you ever wanted to ask us? What's been sitting in your head? And all of you sitting here, of course, can ask a question as well. But, you know, what what is that that you have ever wanted to say, hey, you know what, I'd like to... Uh, yeah. I'd like to 
know that, or I've always thought about this, you know, this is that moment because this week right now, this moment that we are in as that soul sourcing energy is birthing has brought us to this really profound depth of saying yes to who we are. And not only is it exciting and a celebratory experience, it's also one that is happening whether you're conscious of it or not. And I have to stop one second and say, I have three cameras in front of me. Which one am I supposed to look at? Uh, the top okay. one there. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know where I'm looking. Where, where, as we met, we are and looking it, at and you. And I feel like you're looking up my nose. Can we? No, they're not. Uh, yeah, they are. That I. Uh, okay. Yeah, they are. I just. I. You want okay. me to raise the camera? No. Yeah, or lower it a little. I can do you that. Know. But before I do, I okay. just want to remind you. One of the Sorry, things guys, we wanted you know to. Sorry, guys. I am with these cameras. One of the things we wanted to do today is to take your questions, not yeah. just soul readings, but is there a Which topic? Which of course we'll do too. Or a or curiosity you have right. about self ascension, anything you want. So yeah, I'll adjust the camera a little bit. So while Shree's adjusting the camera, I wanna I wanna confess, okay? So what you guys don't know is that all of these beautiful beings that are right here in front of me, sitting in our beautiful, gorgeous living room, I wish we could do like a pan of the camera, you know, with all of you sitting there. Um, they were all hiding the fact that I literally ran in with about one breath before we went on the air. Okay, that's too high, sweetheart. Let me know when uh, you like it. Uh, good, stop. And then it's like, yeah, we'll tilt Help. it. Yeah. Yep. So we'll wait till Shree tilts the camera. Then you get to see more of this amazing living room right there. That, that I think we're good, honey. Yeah. And but tilt it down. That's what I'm trying. Yeah, better. There we are. We did it. Okay. Thank you guys. I I really am sorry for that, but it was really important to me to continue the show that way. And look, that is the first beautiful Krishna Shri yeah. and I purchased when we were in. India, the very first time together in that little alley in New Delhi. I'll never forget that. That was our, that I trip think, for me was all Krishna. That's when we went to Dwarka. Yeah, I fabulous. think some of the most fun that all of us have when we're buying sacred objects yeah. is the story that goes with it. How did it call you? What was the accident that happened that the, this object came into your life? And I yeah. know for Krishna here, uh, we didn't even see him. We were sitting in a store and teeny tiny little and, and store the, and the helper of the store after we were we were looking forward having a cup of tea talking yeah. to the proprietor the, the helper walked by our backs and the, the chills went up our spine like you could feel the energy before you even knew it and that happened with the nitraj that's also up in yeah. our fountain of creation yeah. yeah same place same place so anyway we thought that it would be appropriate to have krishna uh, this very first one. And then those three Tonkas you see there, those are originals. They are very old. They are antiques. And we bought those in Dharmashala, uh, where His Holiness the Dalai Lama resides. And so we were very grateful to be there. And um, it was just, it felt right today to really come to you from this, this space. And as we are coming together right now, I want to share why I was running in late. Yeah, well, and, yeah. and when I ran in late, I said, I'm sorry, but I'm not. <laughs> so here's why I'm not. And by the way, those of you that did not get those phone numbers, Shree, what was our 800 number again? What is it? 888-861-something or other. I normally have my other. iPad open. It, I, think it's, I think After it's in the show years, description. After all these years, you we would know our own 800 yeah, we number. Should know, but Hold on. If I open up my iPad. Look in the show will. description at YouTube. You'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's a terrible. Five one seven two zero eight fifteen hundred is where you can yeah, get into that's Oneness the one that's talk radio. radio. Five one that seven one two zero eight fifteen hundred. Off the top of my head, and here we are: eight hundred eight 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 six two seven six double zero eight. There that's it. it is. All right, eight 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 six two seven six double zero eight. And feel free to give a call, and uh, we will address almost anything you want to talk about. Absolutely, and as we do, this is what I want to open the show with because. It was almost Shri a call to share the installment first. So let me share with you guys why. This week in September, now Shri, can we go to, let's, let's go to the Ascendant Numerology for a minute. Can you put that up on the screen? Yeah. Okay. So remember that this week in September, we're in the middle of this soul sourcing energy. Actually, let's put up the calendar first. Sorry, my fault. Let's go back. My bad. My buffer. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. Idea. That one right there. Okay, the reason we want to look at the September 2020 calendar is as you're gazing at it right now, what you're seeing is that here we are on Sunday the 20th. We are literally outside the spiral, meaning it's that moment. The only way I can describe this in density is that it's that moment where you're in that plane and you just went through the atmosphere for the first time and you've caught a glimpse of limitless space. 
and you're so taken aback that you forget there's things you still need to do to keep that beautiful ship afloat. And this is what happens with so many people when they touch their mastery, is that they see it and they've popped open to it. And then they start falling backwards and because it's an implosion, they don't see that that vast universal view starts becoming smaller and smaller and smaller because they themselves are becoming denser, denser, and denser. And that's the dance that we're all in right now. And in this moment, right now, this day in September, as you see right on the calendar right here, in a month of profound shift, profound shift. Remember, this is the anchor point in the energy flows, is it not? This is that January, February coming back into right now moment. And so as that is happening right now, what was your dream in January? Because you have just popped out on this day, but we're gonna start the spiral back tonight. It's already starting. And the reason it's so profound is because remember that on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, the 23rd, the Mercury retrograde pre-phase begins. We are three days away from the pre-phase, and how many of you think you're already in the, Mer the Mercury retrograde itself? There's been some re-re energy. How about it? <laughs> how about that vast intensity? Honey Bunny, can, you, can we go back to live? Yeah, of course. Okay, how about that vast intensity? I mean, that vast intensity that's trying to get everything inside of you right now to just scream and yell. How about the vast need to justify, the vast need to be right, the vast need to move, to move forward, the vast need to own that which we have always been because it is the only thing that you know that makes you feel safe. And, and so I wanna welcome you to my quote unquote coming out party. And, uh, and the reason I'm calling it that is because I feel very honored that we are all at that moment of mastery that is either be the real thing or just shut up. And forgive me, but you guys know me, I'm the real deal. If you hear it from me, you know it. It's just, I'm nakedly authentic, like it or not. And the reason that I have come out this forcefully right now is because I have held back for 18 years this aspect of my divine presence. And because it had this fermentation period this blessing, this, this growth, this expansion, this no matter what they throw at me, I won't stop. Many of you know that my beloved guru is Gandhi and, and that Gandhi is, is the epitome when we go beyond the myth to the man, go beyond the myth to the man. And then next to Gandhi, of course, is my beloved Paramahansa Yogananda. And the greatest lesson in my life, in my journey, was when I first woke up and I was very active SRF member and I was basically kicked out <laughs> because of what was going on with me. And it was a really wonderful gift. It was fabulous because I didn't lose Yogananda that day. I gained Yogananda that day. And in that day I realized that I was much more Yukteswar than I ever was Yogananda. And then I realized that we all move through it all, do we not? And so in the recognition of the all, we allow ourselves to say yes to that which we are. And then we hit those walls of opportunity called the ego. And we hit them over and over and over again until one day an angel reaches down into your heart after you have met your beloved and said yes. And this incredible Archangel Zadkiel comes through and says, you know what? You are at a moment of sacred union. You are at a moment where all needs will be met, where all beings will get their needs met. You are at a time that is unlike any other time. And because you have said yes, are you willing to once more anchor the yoga of self-ascension on the planet? And you know, there's a lot we've never put in our books. And that yes has become a steady yes with basically every breath, I yeah. think, yeah. over the past 18 years. 
to be able, and I think many of you can relate to this, to be able yeah. to live a conscious spiritual life while yeah. still engaging a quote unquote normal <laughs> life in form yeah. is indeed challenging. It takes commitment. and It takes there, everything you have. And there are often distractions. There are often- No, there are always distractions. <laughs> it's hot in here, don't you think? I'm gonna take off my coat. <laughs> the, 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 there are some distractions. Give me a break. And, and so the one thing <laughs> that Zadkiel brought through so clear, uh, clearly for us yeah, is that wonderful phrase, if it does not bring you joy, then why, why are, are you, you doing, doing it? it? And that applies to the densest of the dense and the most ascended of the ascended. Right? Joy is the frequency that permeates every level so of consciousness true. and every distraction. If we can follow the joy, it's like a homing, a homing beacon going, come back to your soul. Your soul has bliss to offer you. And so the joy is the portal to the okay, truth. Okay, so, so I've got to go back to why is this relevant for this week, you know, other than today's my birthday and I am really getting the messages. Hey, Yay. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, the, the woo is a celebration of you. And, and that's really what we're here for today. Because I am only here because you are. And it's so obvious and so clear and so magical to own. And so just really, this is your day. And this is why I was late today and why with the soul sourcing and all the energy that's in here right now, we are in a magical moment, are we yeah. not? Yeah. So many of you know, I was telling you the story about uh, what happened through my SRF experience and Yogananda and all of that. Well. What was interesting was probably because of my love with Yogananda, that's what brought me to Krishna. And for many years, it was Krishna, 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 everything for me. It was right. I mean, my poor husband was just like Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. You know, we had Krishna had lots everywhere. Of photos we had prints. much Krishna everywhere, and you know, and we still do. And I mean, that's a leela that never ends, right? Yeah. And there's a lot of joy in Hare Krishna. Oh, God, yes. And so then, <laughs> and great food. And then what happened was that Shiva started entering our lives in a conscious way. Yeah. But in a way that was really fascinating because in our journey had been there the whole time. It was part of our own journey. This is the celebration. And I really feel that today's my physical birthday, which is 9-20-2020, which is the six plus the triple infinite uh, in it's harmony is, yeah, in harmony with the year of perfect balance and the double infinite brings me to a five digit infinite, which is, I've never seen it in ascended numerology. And so it, I'm very aware that what's happening on this show today with all of you that chose to be here and all of you that are connected with us in whatever way you are, I am aware that we are one and that because of you, I am. And a lot has been happening here at Tosa Blue Mountain over the past few days. So much so that Bria Rose couldn't even be here live right now. And there has been what has felt like um, a propulsion of a tantrum energy. That's how dare you still be alive? How dare the yoga of self ascension still be out there? And you know, Shri and I have gone through uh, several death attempts on us. We have both physically died sadly many times or, or well done many times. We're good, we thank you. That. Done, <laughs> over. Uh, that's why we're doing the reverse aging thing now. I'm like, okay, well, if we've done that three times and let's do this three times, why not, right? Um, so without going into that conversation, there's been a lot of energy happening here. So much so that I have remained very much in the cocoon of one chamber of energy for close to two weeks and a lot has been happening. And it culminated with a couple things, one of which happened last night that we're gonna to read to you because it's really about this weekend right now. And as we were getting ready for today, earlier today, um, everything that, you, you name it, anything that could go wrong in the past 24 hours, it has. It's all gone backwards. Well, well best intended, whatever, it's been a fascinating thing to witness. Not ex just witness it, notice it, see it, and keep asking about it. And there was suffice it to say enough to happen, right? That right up until we were ready to get on the air, I was just calling out saying, look, help me, you know, what is here? What has come into Tosa Blue Mountain on our watch? What is it? Show me, show me what it is. And I clearly heard that it's because I have not been present. And I got it, I, I really got it. 
because in that moment, Shri came running in, and this was six minutes before we went on. Okay, we're live again. We are live again. All right, guys. Well, we are doing the best we yep. can. We are all doing the best we can, and we are asking you all to hang with us. So remember, if this happens again, let's say it again. If this happens again, just keep coming back. This is starting to feel like the test of spiritual tenacity. Yes, it it's, is. It's such an incredible demonstration of what happens. It's saying, what are you willing to do? What are you willing to do? Or do you just give up too easily? Do you give up the first time because it's just too hard? Do you give up the second time because I just don't want to do it? When is enough enough? The key is that we do have an opportunity to break through that. And we are reconnecting with our audio feed right now as well. And again, this is about spiritual tenacity. And that's what this week is about. Remember, we are in the middle of the soul sourcing journey. So Sri, I am gonna, this is our usual, I, I think I know how to do this. Let me, I am gonna put up the, uh, there it is, the Ascendant Numerology calendar. Um, so what happened was that this is, these are altar cards from my uh, computer. So what that means is I have a big Mac and I have these altar cards, and I mean, there's like this much desk left because She's got, uh, sacred objects let's just all say around her. it's the only way I can keep my computer working. And yeah. then my, I'm a bird cage, you know, literally, I literally live in the bird cage with my bird. So um, the first one that wanted to come today, which I was really grateful for, and it was the second time it reassured me, is the Violet Ray Shiva right here at Tosa Blue Mountain. And I have the Violet Ray Shiva with me always always. He's literally in the heart of the home I live in. Uh, where he sits, he sends his energy right up in the heart of the little apartment that Shri and I live in. And uh, there it is right there. There's the Violet Ray Shiva. So who is right behind us here? And don't we love, look at this. You can see I'm putting the Violet Ray Shiva right next to that beautiful Krishna. And that's from Dwarka, by the way, guys. You see that? That uh, mala on that Violet, on the Krishna there? I bought that on the streets of Dwarka. And yes, Sri and I got to go out on the ocean to Dwarka, which was one of our highlights. Which is Krish highlight. Krishna's city. Yeah, if you don't know about Dwarka, ooh, read the Mahabharata. <clears throat> okay, so the next that wanted to come, which I was so happy is, I have to tell you the story. This is my Paramahansa, the one that I communicate with all the time. And this is, just to show you, this is cut out of an SRF newsletter. You see that? <laughs> I was, I had no money. I was so broke when I first, really you know was really doing this and so i just wanted this picture so much so i cut it out and i laminated it and uh so this is my favorite 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 picture of paramahansa yogananda and that is a bindi that i wore uh during my trip to rishikesh i actually feel like i'm floating even as i'm showing this to you and i'm leaving this up here because many many times i have watched this photo smile bow i have watched the hands move and so i really clearly got that my beloved paramahansa wanted all of you to just receive him the way he and i communicate and uh he is extraordinary and then of course durga <laughs> and uh this durga is really old this durga and what i found so powerful about this specific durga she has been on my Alter, she's faded even. She used to be very, very, very um, colorful and bright. And, you know, she's been in the sun and everything. But I love this version of her so much because you don't rarely see her walking straight toward you. You normally see Durga on her side, more in her uh, enthroned, you know, I'm holding the energy versus this is the energy of Durga walking into battle. And I have held this on my altar for 18 years. And what's so funny is it was the last thing. Do you remember this, Sri? You were the one that got them. This was the last thing. This was those altar cards handed to us by this man you made friends with at like the last carnival we ever did. I call all those expos carnivals um, at the last carnival. Do you remember yeah. that? And you had all these beautiful altar cards. In LA. That's where this came from. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah. have the St. Germain up in the studio, in yeah. the radio studio. Yeah. And then, of course, my Shiva. And this one I never opened. And this came from my beloved, uh, dear, dear Hindu priest and, and beloved brother friend, Darshan. And uh, many of us know Darshan very well. I've introduced him to many people. And when he first sent me the first delivery of Rudraksha for Shiva Ham, this was in there. And 
it's, I know a lot of people would look at this and go, oh, Kira, that's worth nothing. It doesn't have any monetary value. No, but it has a lot of power. And uh, I've never opened it. I have kept it on my altar and it has been on my altar since that day. And it calls me home to Mother India. It helps me remember why I was not born there in this lifetime. And it reminds me that we are always with protection and insight. And when I call these four together, and I want you all to bring your hands to your heart right now. When I called these four together and was clear that I had to bring them down here right now, what I heard, and I want you all to receive, and you may want to sit so that you can really receive energy. I'm going to hold them right here at my heart. Kind of like that. Does that work? Mm, yeah. yeah. And I'm going to invite all of us right now to just say, you know what? I am here. Let's breathe that in. I am here. I am ready. I am open. Guide right. me. And that in this moment, anything unlike love that has been projected towards you, anything that is unlike the highest, anything that is unlike the absolute mastery presence of the divine being that you are, that has been trying to stop you, come towards you, whatever that energy looks like for you, in this moment, it is your moment to say, I am here, I am ready, I am open, and I am guided. It is time to stand up and claim your mastery and to say enough, enough. It is not meant to be hard. It is not meant for you to suffer. When Sri and I were up on the mountain the other day, one of the things that came through with the insolment that we're not releasing yet, we're still integrating ourselves, but one of the things that came through was that at the top of the mountain here, at the top of our temple, that there was never any sacrifice performed there because mm. sacrifice is actually the lie. And they're saying that sacrifice is a manipulation of the energy of creation and the illusion creation of the upside down refraction. Yeah. So breathe that in. And all of the energy that is tied to sacrifice and the need to sacrifice and to have a sacrifice thereby to be a victim. It's a distorted dogma that is a one step removed from the purity of the direct divine communication. Exactly. And there's this, all dogma has a sincere intention behind it. However, to dance through a, a, a prism is to always remain a bit disconnected. We've been broadcasting. Hey guys, we have no idea what's happening. This is so funny. Um, I. What do you do, Shri? You just told BBS to stop the show. Yeah, well, uh, we're gonna, we, this internet has been on and off. We're on a completely different provider right now and it's on and off. So clearly there's an energetic here that is beyond the capacity of the wired, the wires to do. Uh, okay, so BBS, if you are, are you still there? Let us know. Uh, otherwise we'll just continue here at YouTube until that would end. Which okay, would mean, I'm gonna invite them back in. Let's see if BBS is back in. No, I got okay. it. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> this is good. No, 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 no. Look at the calendar. This is, okay, remember, September 23. We are coming right up on this. I mean, you've just got to love this real time. What was September? Let's just go back to basics. It was one year and one month. Yeah. It was 12 days every day, which means if you break down your 12 days into how many minutes you have in a daily cycle, what have we in the minutes we have been together right now traversed? We have just gone through the entire Mercury retrograde. We have just given ourselves the gift of jumping ahead, pulling through. And this is exactly what I've been talking about is that we really are at that moment of, we are able to know then in the now. Oh, if I only knew then what I knew now. Well, you do. <laughs> you actually do if you just let yourself know it. And nothing was better than this example that we have had today. And while I am sending out my heart and prayer that we will continue, I am also in complete trust at the way that this is flowing. And this is that moment. It was the moment that we were getting ready to 
play the uh, eight minute video that we've created. It was the moment we were getting ready to read the installment that the greatest interference, the greatest tantrum hit its peak. And yeah. here's what, we're, what we want to share. We're going to share it really quickly, or I'm going to share it really quickly so <laughs> Shrieking can jump in. If, but if you let it stop you, it's self-imposed bondage. So I want you to just breathe that in. We are our jailer. We are our only jailer. Yeah. It is never anyone else outside of you. It is never anybody else's fault. It is never anybody else's area for you to blame. You've got to look within. And if you can look within 100% of the time, you're able to stay in that higher consciousness frequency, which has this week, because of the soul sourcing that's happening, and we're gonna talk about this more in a moment, gone into its eighth dimensional expansion and ninth dimensional anchorship. And I have created that graphic for you tonight. We have some other nice things to share, so it is worth it to hang out. Absolutely. And, and beloved ones, uh, because of all these hiccups, the call board dropped and came back. If you'd like Sorry. to ring the 800 number, 888-608-1500, was that it? Uh, I think I so. Look. Call on no. that. No, 888-627-6008. Ignore me. 888-627-6008. And yeah. over at Oneness Talk Radio, is that one back up as well? Yeah, 517-208-1500. There it is. And we, we could we could not, <laughs> we, you know, past performance is no guarantee of the future. So they, thank this, God, so right? So now that's thank a good God. thing. Thank God, yeah. <laughs> no and, and, uh, <laughs> so I, I do want to speak to this for a, a moment, and if we if we glitch out again, we'll we'll just uh, uh, let it glitch. Okay. Uh, is that life is an energetic experience that we commonly misinterpret as a physical experience. Energy m animates the physical. Mm -hmm. The physical is an artifact of the energy. So. When we are walking through life and we have the speed bumps, whether they're emotional speed bumps or kind of literal physical things, remember it is an energy that is grieving you. How you receive it and how you respond to that energy is your choice and your learning experience. Mm. We all practice strategies and oftentimes they're unproductive for a long time until we finally get the right one. And even then we can start transcending the need for strategies and just have a smile on our face as we witness everything from bliss to turbulence. So here we are today having this wonderful example of, of this kind of tantrum energetic that has disrupted not one but two internet providers. And, uh, and, and that we're here kind of with a smile on our face going, well, I wish it was different, but it's not. And here we yeah. are. Well, and, but you know yet, I'm glad it's here. Because again, let's go back to what happened. 12 days every day. Yep. Have you and really given timeline. yourself the slack to look at that? I mean, to go beyond your densified experience and really look at that, really pay attention, giving yourself permission to say, wait a minute, whoa. So what I just did in one day would have been 12. And what I am doing in this entire month is a full year. Why is this happening? Because we are at a moment where, and I'm feeling a lot of your second and third chakras. I want you guys to really pay attention to your second and third chakras. And so what's happening is that as we are sliding this timeline and breathing it in, I want you to think of it as an in-breath, it is because we are at a moment that has never been before. Now, I'm gonna jump back to that in a moment. But I want to go back for one second and hopefully sneak this one in. So many of you have sent me be beautiful birthday wishes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you with all my heart and soul. Thank you. Um, my husband woke me up this morning by reading them to me. And it was a wonderful way to begin my day with all my heart and soul. And one of them, I, I, I'm going to invite Shri to read right now on the air because j this past week, part of the reason I've been very hermited is because I've been in a massive, my own personal massive up-level experience and, and expansion and conscious decision-making process. And so I've been talking to Sri that one of the things that has really been before me as the miracle of my 60th birthday is upon my own sense of what this experience is, is absolutely being in this moment of witnessing what's happening on the planet. I'm referring to the third dimensional fear, the, the fact that a fear dimension has been burst, the chaos, the anxiety. I'm a mother myself. <laughs> I understand. 
I completely understand at every level of density that density has to offer. And when I let down, and it really is a letting down of my own being, and really uh, look at it, what I, the gift I get from it is that the depth of the despair is what reawakens my mastery every time and stops me from staying in it. And so how do we transcend this moment at hand and yet not fall prey to the isms? And one of them is by expanding our consciousness beyond the paradigm of the moment. When we nakedly and authentically say yes to our divine presence, nakedly, and all, it's okay, Henry, it's okay, he can be with me, it's okay, he can be with me. Um, my dog, Henry, it's funny, I came across a photo of him today starving when we first got him, and he has become my guardian, and because of what I'm getting ready to say, I know that's why he had to be with me. He literally just forced his way out of the kitchen. It was yeah, the, the chaos the you were hearing, our apologies. When we let go of a male-dominated society, when we let go of the belief that there's a distinction between me and you, when we stop forgetting that the more colors we can be, the more amazing we are, when we stop forgetting that every aspect of our creation is a miracle in action, that's the moment before us, right now. And we are all being invited to remember that going back before there was a need to distinguish masculine and feminine, going back into the purity and the innocence of light, simply loving light, knowing that as an energy of infinite creation, we are infinitely creating, dancing like the fairies and the elves, we are aware of that. And through that awareness, we have created this. And we forgot that as we would densify and come into this form, being, creating, expanding consciousness was a celebration, always. That's how the perceptions of like a council of the elders came to be. Because you had been expanding that much you had attained that level of expansion, thereby those that were beginning could expand even faster because you kept going, you didn't stop. So when we stop, we send the message of stop. When we keep going, we send the message of keep going. There's a reason to keep going because at one point it defies reason. That moment of the council in a world where our body of form very easily is designed to sustain 120 years easily, our original design was over 350, but the 120 is still very attainable, even though it's challenging in this, in the, in this slice of this timeline that we've chosen, however it is possible. And so when we arrive at the 60, where I am at today, I first felt the burden and the responsibility of that, of saying yes to my role in the council, to saying yes to, we will keep going, to saying yes to the recognition that the first 60 years, we contribute in ways that bring us to the second 60, to see it as that moment where we make a decision. And it doesn't matter what age you're becoming. My gift is that I know today I am because you are. So regardless of where you are in your linear experience, because that's all it is, part of that illusion, right? May your heart right now find you at your apex moment, claiming that all that has been as the wisdom that will guide you, that invites the ego to release, and the state of the true yoga of self-ascension to ignite. We are at a moment where the Council of the Elders needs to return and arise, and yet we are each the elders of our own experience. This is not a movie. This is an energy of wisdom. This is an experience that goes outside the paradigm. And so I wanted to share yeah. this because when it came in today and we were reading these this morning, it, it caught me 
because it's been such a rich energy, and I love this version of it in this, yeah. perspe in this perspective. Yeah, and so in the recognition that uh, as one has years, one acquires wisdom, and as one is committed to service, one's years extend. Yeah, <laughs> and reverse age. <laughs> And uh, this is a, a beautiful birthday greeting that came in from Helen, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, here's how it goes. Happy first birthday, Kira. May I share with you a gift from my Chinese great-grandmother on the wisdom of reaching age 60. When I was a little girl, I did not understand the significance of the 60th birthday. The grown-ups would gather and celebrate with a big feast for this milestone of reaching, quote, the first marker of longevity. But why such jubilation? On one celebration, my great-grandmother noticed my curious heart and explained to me why one's 60th birthday is so significant. There is a saying, 60 becomes one. She told me that when someone turns 60, that person becomes a one-year-old of a new life. The one-year-old has an uncharted future and can choose how to spend the childhood and live his and her new life in new ways as the person deems fit. People who turn 60 are also considered new elders. They are no longer expected to live in conformity. <laughs> they are now free to eat, speak, dress however they like without a care of what others may think. For it is no longer acceptable for others to criticize or pass judgment or comments on them or to them. No one shall approve or disapprove of their personal choices. They have lived long enough to have earned the badge of honor to simply be respected and to have fun. However, these new young elders are expected to speak wisely and share their wisdom from their life experiences to help the young ones. They are expected to be supportive for those who look to them for answers. They are expected to continue to grow wiser. For as long as that gift of wisdom has stayed with me, I always feel that 60 is truly a magical birthing year anew. Happy first birthday. Wishing you many, many joy-filled blessings to mark your new era in your new birth life. Love and hugs to you from Helen of California. Well, Helen of California, I love you, thank you, and thank you for sending that to everyone. Yeah. Because this isn't for me, and it's not about being 60. I really, with all my heart and soul, what I am so aware of in all of the dimensional overlays right now, and especially with this eighth dimensional overlay that's opening right now, is that we are all birthing. We are all at this moment together. Perhaps the reason that my linear birthday is right now was to make sure that we would have this conversation together today, to make sure that we would not miss this moment together. We have been soul sourcing for a week now. And last Monday, when we first opened up that soul sourcing portal, it was before we had that powerful 17th new moon up level, remember? Just a few days ago, or how many weeks was that, based on our calendar? And so back on the 17th, three days ago, we were all in this extraordinary up level illuminated new moon. And remember that energy as a neutral experience is meeting each being with the level of consciousness that they are emanating. Mm -hmm. And it all got illuminated starting Thursday. And I mean illuminated. And now on Sunday, we are moving into tomorrow where we will be anchoring that soul source energy. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, join us, go to shrinkcure.com, just be there. And so tomorrow we're gonna anchor that. And then on the 23rd, this Wednesday, the pre-Mercury retrograde phase begins and this is a moment of acceleration. It's like, hold on, this goes through November. I've done the full Sunday numerology for the rest of this year and all I can say is, hold on, and I will share more about that Tuesday night on Soul Mirrors as well because it's important we're all aware of what's coming over the next three months. You know, I just, I just want to pick up on one thing you Please. shared. 
imagine. Just think back a few days. Right. How, how have things been since Thursday? Thursday. That was effectively a month ago in terms of the old timeline. Right. That was a mo up level moment that has sparked yeah. something. And uh, so we just invite you to smile at what's been going on. Because we are here it's together. All you can do. <laughs> yeah, learn to smile, and you're going to find it's going to and go it's a lot so easier. It's so much easier. It really is. It's so much easier. <laughs> and uh, uh, in a moment, we're going to be sharing a, a little video with you. Or do you want to go to this next? Um, I'm thinking. Let's let's do this, guys. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna read this. So I think we should read this first. Okay. Or no, let's do it when we come back. Uh, it's I'm all just, good. I'm just looking. We're holding. I think we're good now. I think we're through all the, I think we did the tantrum thing. I think it's done. All right, so you know what we are gonna do? We are gonna go ahead and we want you to take a moment and really relax. And I want you to set it up maybe, is there a way they can see or they'll, they'll have to come over here and see it? You'll have to come around. Okay, so when we play this, Shri and I are gonna just walk away for a moment and you guys please come and watch so you can see the movie. So what this movie is, is first and foremost a celebration of all of you. And for those of you that have been with Sri and I since the beginning, you'll probably find yourself or memories in this video. And so this video starts out uh, with a picture of us the day we got married on the beach in Encinitas, California, right outside of the SRF area. I couldn't be on the ground, so we were just a little bit down on the beach. And um, to today at Tosa Blue Mountain, including to yesterday. Tell them what happened yesterday. Yesterday, da -da -da -da. we had a delightful dinner in our water therapy center. Oh, and I was talking about the pyramid. <laughs> oh, well, I, that's what's but that's top of my too. mind. Is, but thank oh, you. Yeah. That's in there, too. I, isn't he the cutest? <laughs> that's in there, too. <laughs> I love, it. I love and, it. And yes, the pyramid got finished here, which is Oh, a, my God, another, our second of three. Yeah. There's a big one coming. And, a, but a this one's even coming. bigger than the other one, so much so that there's benches underneath where you can sit and check it out once again one of those great accidents it's in direct alignment when you stand in the center it is in direct alignment with the mountain we call our Keternath and when you turn to the 90 right degrees is the compadres. the compadres and it's direct and uh, it was one of those well this is a nice flat spot and yeah. we like the energy here without really noticing that until it got it finished wonderful precision. so that's in this video as well it's about uh, eight minutes yeah, and before we, we click play, I just want to mention, uh, for those of you that kind of are tracking with things, we're going to get a glimpse from, from New Mexico to uh, Guatemala to Uruguay to Ecuador. Yeah. And one thing we've known on our journey is that when we're called to anchor energy in a place, we just say yes. And I was, I was looking at this and, and reflecting back at how we have straddled the equator in opening up light portals. Yeah, uh, we've, that was our job. I really North think America that was a big part and of South it. America, yeah. and now we're anchored at the equator. And, and this is, we are here. And I was noticing too when I was putting the phone together, we have done pyramids at all of these places. Yeah. You yeah. know, so obviously that was also part of it was to bring the sacred and the, the labyrinths. I was looking at the labyrinths again. We've had so labyrinths. this is a this is a fun film. And 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 just before I let you go, pyramids. Actually, the energy, you know, they're they're pointy. They're a triangle. The energy goes down in the same fashion. Many Remember people don't that. realize that a pyramid has a reflection that goes into the earth. And as soon as you let that in, and you can measure that as well, then the location of pyramids on our planet, you go, now what is the logic? And there is logic. It is a form of acupuncture into the ley lines of the planet. Exactly. Sending energy into the grids. And so we, or we're, when we're called to make a pyramid, the land is informing us of where it would like that energy. So beloveds, this is about eight minutes. And for those of you that are on the call boards, uh, as soon just as we're be, done, we're going to come back. Yeah, and get your yeah be patient because uh, it's gonna you're happen. not going to see the video, but we'll be back in eight minutes to take your calls and have some more fun. All right.
You know, it's it's. Uh, it was I, fun for us. It was fun for us to be able to get some glimpses at the uh, energies and experiences that have guided our path, and that we have shared with you all for these last many years. And uh, the journey has just begun in so many ways. No, in every way. You know, it's, <laughs> I'm it's sorry, of, it's just begun in every way. One, one of the things I, I want to remind each of you that uh, uh, has has stayed with us as we went through the hiccups in the first half of the uh, of the uh, Fascinating. Big wireless stuff yeah. in the show is that on Monday night, this particular Monday coming up tomorrow is the second half of Soul Sourcing and a powerful energy is being delivered. And it, you still have the opportunity to get on board if you would like to participate and uh, get the video of last week's and this is the culminating uh, experience which will carry you forward tomorrow. And then in October on Monday nights, we begin with the Galactic Encyclopedia. Such amazing timing. You know, for those of you that have been with us for Monday Magic, I miss you. And it's been wonderful to be with a lot of you in Soul Sourcing as well. So remember, if you were with us in Monday Magic, you've got to get registered again. It didn't just roll you over. You, you need to, to give us a notification. you got to say yes. We Remember respect Zod your Kill privacy. Says, you keep yeah. saying yes. So, exactly. <laughs> so if you would like to be a part of Monday Magic starting again October 5th, please join us. I'm so excited about it. It's awesome. And so my loves, I want to share with you um, this, this kind of culmination of what's been happening. And before we do, we've got so many people who have been holding. And so let's hear some of those questions and then we'll share this installment with you. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Do we uh, want to go to BBS first or where are we going? Honey? I'm taking a peek here. Just... Okay. Wow. Thank you all for calling back. We have so many people on hold. You guys rock. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. We uh, have a couple of people. We have a first time caller here over at BBS Radio. And okay. And uh, we're, we're going to head to line three and say hi to Jennifer from New York. Hey, Jennifer from New York. Namaste and welcome to Shri and Kira Live. Thanks for being here today. Oh, thank you for answering my call. Namaste. Namaste. Happy birthday, Kira. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. How can we serve you? What's your question? I am so grateful that I got through to you. I'm so grateful. I just was hoping I could get a little mini soul reading. I've been saying yes to the universe, and it's been extraordinary. I just, I'm so grateful. So, just a little soul reading. Well, uh, I want you to just, first of all, bring a hand to your heart. And really in between your heart center and your physical heart, because it's like it's straddled. And, and as I connect with your energy, it's like there's this part that's all about me and then there's part that's all about the, the, you know, the greater you and that you're really straddling your heart energy right now. And as I share that with you, what's so beautiful is that this incredible, um, how do I describe this? It's like a radiance. I think that's the way I'll describe it. It's like this radiance energy is all around you and it's just saying to you, bow your head and breathe in humility. And when you arise, you will see that which you have been looking for. And so it is. Many blessings. Aww. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Oh my God. And I, I, I said last time I called in that I'm going to get out there, and I definitely will be seeing you soon. Thank we would you. look forward to Namaste. welcoming you. Mwah. Namaste. Thank you, Much sweetheart. And remember, this is your day to ask Shri and I any question you would like. And so those of you that have questions over at the 517 number, please just raise your hand. And that's star five, right? You press star five. Yes, yeah, so if you're over uh, at Oneness Talk Radio, press star five. And uh, anyone else over at BBS Radio, you can certainly let our producer know if you have a question or not. And so, Shri, I'm really feeling that it's that we should be sharing this message because okay. it feels that important to me. So let me, let me share with you guys. This was last night, as you saw in the video, uh, at the very end, Shri and Bria Rose and Sh Chef Douglas all did this amazing surprise dinner for Kira in our beautiful water therapy center. I don't even know how many candles there were. God bless Bria for lighting them all and all of the roses. And I mean, oh my gosh, and you saw all the pictures I, I put in there at the end of the video. And, um, 
my husband had told me later on in the day, he's like, well, we have dinner at six o'clock. And I'm like, okay, where are we eating? Pool. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, because we make that available for our guests, but we've never done it ourselves. No, you know, we've never, we've, we've never <laughs> done it ourselves. And he's like, well, we should see what our guests have been liking so much. I'm like, it's yeah. a good idea. <laughs> and so, what had happened was I've been on deadline this whole week for the 2021 predictions for Sedona Journal. Uh, I've been a regular columnist for Sedona Journal for 15 years, and God bless Melody, who publishes that magazine. Dear friend, I love her to death. Um, she always extends her deadlines for me, and I don't know what I'd do without her. This one's been challenging, because when Shri and I were up at the Temple of Creation up here at the Lost City, all of, all of the things that are happening up there, I was shown the 2021 revelations. I have them. And Every time I've connected with them, similar to when I did the Ascended Numerology for November and December for Sedona Journal, it's taken me days to recuperate. The energy of what's before us right now, the clarity of what is being revealed, the love that is being poured around us right now, has been very challenging me for, for me to adapt to. And so for the past um, seven days, it's been very hard for me to do much because the intensity and the up-level awareness of what's in front of me has been so visceral. And as I was sitting down yesterday, because I had this commitment to the self that I would not do any work on my birthday, how righteous is that? And I love that that one got put in my face. I really had to learn that. Um, I sat down to finish for Melody to get it there to her yesterday, and I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I, the more I kept connecting with it, the more that kept coming in, I won't just turn something in because somebody says it has to be done then. I just won't lie. And so what I know is that it will be done tomorrow. And I know that Melody will be her usual gracious, amazing beingness, her highness of, of that magazine and take it. And I thank her for that because of her integrity. But what happened was this, as my beautiful husband was running around doing everything in his power to give me the most imag imaginable vision of a romantic meal, I, this had started this is what turned out to be the first and sold message of Master Lady Kirala to the world. And I was told to deliver it by all this little group down here today on my birthday. And when it came through last night, my heart felt strongly as I was writing it and, and aware that I was writing it. And then I was not aware at all. And then I was aware of when it ended. And I, there were people that I was seeing, and I was invited to send it to via email. And I wasn't sure it was going to be shared with the world, or even though it had said it would be. And so there were some people I sent it to uh, via email, who some of them really received it and really heard it and responded. Some just can't hear it. And what I knew was that I needed to bring it to my husband at dinner. So this had been my gift to him last night was uh, when he made me this beautiful meal. He's like, what is that envelope? I'm like, well, this is my gift to you. <laughs> and indeed, indeed, a profound gift. And the one thing I want to share is that the depth of wisdom, the depth of mm -hmm. communication that comes through here may uh, uh, invite you to go ever deeper in your own recognition of the meaning of what is coming forward. And, and this has been part and parcel what we experience frequently when we're in these moments of communion, these uh, the ensoulments. It wouldn't be worthwhile if it didn't rattle your cage a little bit. Uh, let's let's you know, expand, that let's expand, expand, expand the expand boundaries your of your understanding. Yeah. I always move, go to the levity first. And, and when we expand, there is a moment where the mind can go into confusion because Often. the mind Often. is trying to put a wrapper on things by, through the known vocabulary and the meaning of the vocabulary. Whereas an expanded message is saying we're, we're working outside of the known connotations of these words in order to communicate uh, that which is outside of the practiced reality, the pattern that you're in. And that's the wonderful thing. When I say shake it up a little bit, it means if we are to grow, we need to move through our patterns. We need to practice being a little bit confused at times, a little bit uncomfortable at times, because those are the symptoms of the ego brain or the, or the ego uh, status going, wait a minute, I don't have a grip on reality anymore. That's mm -hmm. not a bad thing. It's just 
that that limited aspect of you is letting go and allowing the grander aspect to come forward and inform and guide. And so I bow before my beloved uh, wife, Master Lady Kira Ra, who in her commitment to the divine and in her courage as a masterful being has brought this forward to share. And it is in the sharing that the magnification happens. It is in the sharing that we all are blessed. And thank you, Mary. Thank well, you. thank you for standing right next to me and being my mirror. I mean, that's what this 18 years is about. That's what today is all about. Today is an invitation. As we walk into the week ahead, it is an invitation for you to stand in the essence of your sacred mirror, which begins with you. Yeah. To stand in the essence of your sacred mirror and say yes to love yourself more, to really love yourself more. No matter how much you think you're loving yourself, love yourself more. There's always more. And when we wake up and smell and see that we are walking on a plateau with a fence that we have built, we discover where the stairwell exists. And sometimes we get blinded by the light that stairwell calls in, and sometimes we get tired just knowing it's there. And then when we're ready, we will climb it. But it's always another plateau. There will always be another rainbow. There will always be another set of stairs. The key is, are you willing to keep shedding the ego as you do? You know, as I, as I close before we, we share this message with you, one of the gifts that I personally am loving so much about the beautiful temple that is at the top of our mountain here and everything that's been uncovering. And remember, this Saturday with our Cosmic Origins group, we will be doing the attunements at the sacred container in the energy of the equinox. I, we will film. We will get it to you on Sunday's show well, sure. next week. You want to be here next week. And so I guess the only thing I really need to share with you is that if you invite yourself to remember yourself, you will step into that higher dimensional frequency. And so can you show the eighth dimensional opening graphic? Yeah. Yeah. There is a graphic I want to show you before we begin sharing this message because when this message started coming in, it came in with a whole bunch of other information. I am not going to teach that today, but I want you to just see the graphic. And uh, the graphics in this piece of paper, while I'm talking about it, you could pass around just the graphic if you guys want to see it that are here. It's so little though. Come up and look if you want to see it. So the graphic is up on screen right now. And what this is, is you've seen this all year. This is that third dimensional witness, the fifth dimensional witnesser, the seventh dimensional witnessing, and the ninth dimensional where we become the witness again. So what has, what's happening right now in real time this week is the truth of the seventh dimensional witnessing energy is being asked to ignite as the propulsion that leads you through the eighth dimensional creation and anchoring into the ninth dimensional witness again. It's a massive level up. Yeah. And for those that are saying yes, you can go and look at the week we're in. This is the week, this is the week it's happening. It's blowing my mind. And you see these four pyramids that come in here? In the core, you have the four in the corner, but then you also have the other four here. So you see the eight energy. That's coming in as a container that will assist that energy to stabilize through more conscious connection and creation in this timeline through the divine profound shift outside of the current level of consciousness that we have and the one that's coming. Hey, say hi to our beautiful guests, guys. There we are. I just wanted to have some fun. All right, there we are. We had people watching. And, and so that's the moment. And so thank you. We'll invite you to go sit, as we're going to invite all of you to sit. And um, Shri, I don't know if you want to read the very beginning. Would you like me? Maybe I should, I should just read the whole thing. Is that what you were saying? I think yeah. so. I think okay. uh, this, is, this is your gift. And uh, so that uh, beautiful piece of artwork, uh, you may, when this video is complete, want to scroll back and look at it further. There is a depth of communication resident in the way that design radiates. And it's part and parcel with some of the energy that uh, Kira is about to share with you. This will be posted in its entirety. And that graphic, along with the original witnessing of the witnesser, is with it. This will be posted in its entirety in the article section of shriankira.com within about an hour after our show ends today. So for those of you that do find that it calls to you, you may want to revisit it. And so I do want to share that for me in this moment, 
I know in my heart this is part of why the tantrum came because I am time stamping this in my own experience of this life cycle that this is the first and you are a witness for it live sharing of the full bodied presence of Master Lady Kira Ra on September 20th, 2020. And this is the essence of that energy as it goes out to the world for this whole next year's cycle around the sun. This message is not being delivered for just this moment. So please take in a breath and relax. And the energy that is totally illuminating me is already illuminating you. I'm feeling it uh, tickling your, your crown chakra. And I'm being invited to share with you right now that in the moment, this is the only way my body can sustain sharing this much information. And that there will be coming a melding soon as my body refines even more. And so this message took two and a half days to come in. And I would, I would have to stop, I would have to rest. And um, it was what interrupted completing my assignment for Sedona Journal yesterday afternoon. So please take in a breath. From my heart to yours. My heart is honored to be here in this moment, now, sharing this miracle experience with you. I am because you are as we all are together. Namaste, I am Shiva Ham. I want to share with you a little bit about Shiva Ham because it felt important to include that. And so let me share with you. As you may be familiar with the term Namaste, which means the divine in me sees and honors the divine in you, this simple yet beautiful salutation reminds us all that we are a family of oneness. When you feel namaste, it is a oneness familiarity. That when we open our eyes to see the divine in everyone, our lives shift in beautiful ways. And I have about 18 years of knowing how true that is. Shivo Ham is the expansion of the oneness energy. It is a sacred celebration of I am. A sacred union with the re resonant hum of the universe as the declaration of your oneness with all. And I'm gonna skim forward now because I just wanted you to have a, a depth of that. There'll be more when you read everything that I wrote, but, but for right now or not that I wrote that was written. And so I wanna continue here because taking from that energy of that essence of the oneness, the Shiva hum, I'm just gonna read word for word the way this came through. This is the energy of the ascended realms of presence that call forward with clarity and certainty 